All right, hello, grade eights, and welcome to lesson 4.5, relating number sequences to graphs. All right, it is found on page 140 of your textbooks, and I recommend strongly that you follow along because that's basically what I'm doing today is just going through the example in the book. All right, then your goal is, that you're going to be writing down in your, text, in your notebooks is to relate a sequence to its scatter plot. All right, so let us begin. Ludek is offered eight days of work on his neighbor's farm. All right, he has two options for payment. $40 each day, $2 for the first day, $4 for the second, eight for the third, 16 for the fourth. All right, essentially it doubles each day. So which payment option, one or two, uh, is the best uh, for Ludek? How's he gonna make the most money? Out of, uh, out of these two options after eight days. All right, first thing, all right, your textbook is asking you to copy and complete a separate table of values uh, for each option. All right, so option one, you can see uh, first day he's making $40, second day he's making 80. So it's increasing by 40 each day. All right, these are only four days. You are asked to complete them. So if you need to uh, pause, uh, do that. I will wait. All right. But in the meantime, I just want to go over the second option first. Uh, second option, day one, two dollars. Two dollars after first after the first day. Six dollars after the second. Fourteen after the third. And thirty dollars after the fourth day. Now you're looking uh, at the uh, these are the pattern rules or the algebraic expressions. I'm going to explain more of these later. Okay. So. Right now, pause and complete these graphs to eight days. All right, I will wait. All right, I went and grabbed myself a sandwich, got myself a drink of water, so I'm feeling pretty good. We're going to go on the rest of this presentation. All right, so for uh, the question, next question that you're being asked is to describe the pattern rules for options one and two using words or algebraic expression. This is what I'm looking for. For option one, the total amount paid after a certain number of days is 40 times the number of days. So your pattern rule is going to be 40n, okay? 40n, so 40 times the number of days. So in this case, and I'll go through it in another couple of slides, actually the next one, and we'll go through that option. Second option, you, told, you are determining the amount paid after n days. All right, which is eight days. You multiply the number by itself, so you're essentially doubling the number. Okay, this is how many days you're adding the day. So n plus the day. All right, and then subtract by two. Why are you subtract by two? As we as we spoke earlier in the week, you are getting to zero. You're starting at zero. So essentially, this and minus two is getting you to zero. But that'll work in the first equation. Then you can go from there. Okay, so your pattern rule or your equation for the second one is this. Two exponent n plus one minus two. I will go through this in just a few seconds, but this is what you need to know. So 40n is the first one. Um, two exponent n plus one minus two is your second one, all right? Now, next question I asked you is, for which option is predicting Ludek's total earning for eight days more difficult? Explain. It's a simple explanation. If you're looking at this option here, it's 40 times eight, okay? Okay, and the second one is a lot more complicated, okay, because you are placing your variable in where the n is right now, and I'm gonna go through that in just a couple of seconds after we talk about the graph. But a long story short, and to make a simple answer, your best bet is option one, just because it's easier, okay? Is it the best option for Ludek? We don't know yet, okay? Well, you do know because you just finished the table of values. All right, so this is how you explain the equations. All right, now let's look at the graph, okay? now. Draw is D asks you draw two scatter plots, uh, two different colors. Well, in this case, I just grabbed from the answer section. It's black and gray. All right, and to show the total earnings for both uh, tables of values, use the same pair of axes, which is right there. Okay, same axis. Okay, 
and then connect the points in each scatter plot to extend to the eighth day. Now, as you know from your table of values, option one, okay, gets you to three hundred and twenty dollars, okay, and option two will take you to five hundred and ten. All right, we see that this is a gradual progression, and it's the same with each interval. All right, whereas option two starts you very low and then rises more dramatically, increases more dramatically as you move along the graph. All right, so each day is worth more every day. Okay, so that would be looking at the payment options on a scatter plot. Now let me just explain these for you for a second here. Now which payment option is better? Obviously this one is better but this one works out to it's a simple simple equation so it's 40 times 8. After after 8 days this is how many days okay after 8 days at $40 a day will take you to 320 days. I mean, sorry, $320 after eight days. All right, part of my writing here, my tablet's not working. New update, so I have to use the mouse. All right, and this after you place an eight here in your, as your variable, after working this out, throwing this into a calculator, you come out with a total of, okay, $510. So clearly, the best payment option for Ludec is option two, which I've named option B over here. This is the option that he should have went with, okay, to make him more happy after eight days. All right, so a lot here. Take your time with it. Go back, review, copy, uh, and we will explain in detail in class, okay? So again, just try it. Take a look at it. Um, try to understand it, but again, we will understand it and go through it in class. All right, thank you, and we'll talk.